we asked you guys who the statistical leaders for the Seattle Mariners will be. This is just the position player once. And you guys voted pretty much the same guy every single time. But we're going to start with home runs. You guys voted 60% of you for Julio Rodriguez, 16% Gino, 13% Teo, and 11% Big Dumper. Colton, who led the Mariners in home runs last year? I think, if I remember correctly, it's also a guy who had the most home runs over the last five years until last year. A guy named A. Eugenio Suarez. Correct. And that is correct. Only got 16% of the vote. I'm also shocked Teo, 13%. Yeah, I mean, that's crazy. We're here on Fangraphs for Steamer Projections, and they do also agree with the community. They agree with you guys. Julio with 30 home runs. Colton, who was your pick to lead the Mariners for home runs in 2023? You know what, Joe? I'm not going to go with Julio because it's the obvious answer. I'm going to say that Eugenio Suarez repeats with over 30 home runs. Because in his career, I mean, how many times has this guy hit over 30 home runs in a season? A ton of times. Sometimes, yeah. I mean. So four times in his career, he's hit over 30 home runs, including the last two years and almost 50 in 2019. The only time that he didn't hit over 30 home runs was the shortened season of 2020 where he hit 15 home runs Gino, over the past five years. He's a good pick for it. I'm not going to lie. I, unfortunately, my my preseason pick is Teoscar Hernandez. We cannot we cannot have a push here. We can't, you know, go to our secret, you know, tiebreaker, if you will, that I've, that I've set up. But, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll cross that bridge when we get there, okay? Got it. So, Julio, the community... You guys win on home runs. Julio is the winner. We're on to the next stat now. And I asked, who will lead the Mariners in hits in 2023? And, you know, once again, no shock here. Julio wins with a 66% of the vote. A, a landslide. Ty France finishes his second, 27%. JP, or, sorry, Colton Wong finishes third with 5%. And JP with 3%. I feel like the community got this one right. I think Julio and Ty are going to be the two closest. I mean, Julio, if you take away his first month, maybe he just played like he had the rest of the season that first month. I think he definitely leads the team. But Ty is also somebody who puts the bat on the ball. And, yeah. you know, he, he, I mean, Ty France, I think, will always hit for a high average. He's one of those guys. Yeah. So Ty France is a good choice here. I do respect the people that went with Ty France at 27%. Yeah. So he got like almost a third of the vote. I, I'm telling you, you know, Sheldon Noisy doesn't happen. Ty Francis batting over 300 last year. He led the team in hits last year, although you did concede the fact about Julio's, you know, first month. Fangraphs agrees with the community. Once again, Julio will lead the Mariners with 163 hits. I am going to side with that as well. They're going to have him hitting at least, for, you know, at least second. So first or second, because they've been having Colton Wong bat in front of him in some games, but other times he's been leading off. I think he's going to see the bulk of the opportunities once again, and I think, you know, he will take home the crown. So consensus pick, Julio Rodriguez will lead the Mariners in hits. Third stat, batting average. Who will lead the Mariners in batting average in 2023? The community, once again, voted for Julio Rodriguez at a 55% of the vote. Ty France at 36%, so a bigger chunk there. We're going in, you know, increments of nine for Ty France. Kelnick at 6%. <clears throat> I put him in there just for uh, the memes. And <laughs> JP Crawford, once again, he's consistent, man. 3%, which is ironically his number. So, like, you know, good for JP. So, this one is interesting it to me. Is. Because with having Julio getting the most hits, but then they're kind of leaning. A, it's a little closer for batting average. So, maybe they think ty's not gonna play as many games or he's like, not batting second anymore mm -hmm. they move him down in the lineup a bit yeah it's so tough. this is an interesting one and i think people are really sleeping on jp here man i, I feel agree. like jp can be like a 265 270 hitter yeah but i don't know if that's necessarily leading the team or we want that to be leading the team right fan has 272 as julio's projection leading the team i want that north of of 280 285 i like for whoever's leading the team i think if you're if you don't have that there's there's a little bit of a problem maybe not a problem but like you know i honestly think that julio rodriguez can be a 290 295 hitter i also think that ty france could be a 300 hitter i, I really agree. do so who's your vote for i'm going ty france i, I think... am also going with ty france which means yes. we have to bust out the tiebreaker Hold on. So, our secret tiebreaker, I asked my girlfriend uh, wow. who she thinks will lead the Mariners in all of these categories as well. So, can I get a drum roll, please, Colton? <laughs> Unfortunately, she picked Julio Rodriguez to lead the batting average. I, you know, I would have assumed she picked Ty, 
I really would have, because you know she's she likes Ty France, but uh, she didn't. So, anyways, Julio Rodriguez takes another stat from the rest of the team. He's just hogging them all. He's collecting them like Infinity Stones. Hello there. Up next, who will lead the Mariners in RBI? Now this one's kind of controversial. It's a bit, this is the closest one. Julio wins again at 47%. A lot of you guys just said, whoever you, we post, we're gonna pick Julio. So you guys are holding, you're holding to that at least. You're consistent. I'm waiting for ERA. They're gonna pick Julio. He's yeah. not even gonna be in there. They're gonna be like, other Julio Rodriguez. Exactly. I mean, some people have already done that. Uh, Teoscar Hernandez at 30%, second in this poll. Gino at 14% and Ty France last at 8%. Colton, how do you feel about the results of this poll? Are you guys stupid? It's mean. You think that they're gonna bat Julio lead off? Or even second, and he's going to lead the team in RBI? What? Can you guys make up your mind? Okay. Teo's going to lead the team because he's going to bat three. Teo's going to bat three. He's going to drive in Julio. He's going to drive in Colton Wong. Julio's going to have J.P. Crawford, Colton Wong hitting in front of him. And maybe he'll drive one of them in. Yeah, I mean, but overall, J.P. Crawford's also at the bottom of that lineup. You know, turns the lineup card over. I'm not loving it. Teoscar Hernandez is my pick. I don't I don't love the Julio pick here. Fangrass does. Fang Fangraphs does have Julio beating out Teoscar Hernandez uh, by, by one. By one, and uh, you know my pick is I went I went Gino on this one. That's fair. He'll probably bat four. You know we go split decision two one one. Unfortunately, not I guess not unfortunately because if Julio is leading the team in every stat category, he's likely in route to you know a top five MVP finish, which is fine by me. Or the team really sucks. Or that. Yeah, he's just you know, a, a really, you know, just a diamond, you know, amongst the pile of It's going to be Teoscar Hernandez. I don't know. I don't know what you, what you people are on about. You're, you're, you're feeling a little feisty right now, buddy. You need to calm down. So heading into runs. I think this is this one. Should we even talk about it? You guys finally got one, right? I wouldn't say finally. I think hits and runs are the safest ones for Julio. 81% uh, yeah. of you voted for Julio Rodriguez, which makes a lot of sense. Wong at 10%, Gino at 5%, and then JP couldn't stay consistent with this one he went four percent man just i want to know what the people that are voting gino over jp like what they're thinking i mean if gino's hitting in front of like either ty or teoscar and then cal you know the chance of them driving in runs but like if julio is going to lead the team and he's batting right behind jp theoretically don't, julio's knocking in jp a lot there don't make the connection all right fangraphs no has julio at 95 19 more than Ty France in second here. I agree. It's it's a landslide yeah. pick for Julio for the runs scored department. I mean, he's leading off. He's going to be on base all the time for the middle of that order. So I think that's, that's a slam dunk pick. Up next, we've got stolen bases. And this one, I'm, I'm kind of surprised. I'm, I'm honestly genuinely a little surprised here. So yeah, you guys voted 77% Julio. 77% Julio is interesting because again, we have heard that he's not gonna be running as much this year in an attempt to keep him healthy. With that being said, Julio's also said that it's a part of his game and he's gonna do whatever he can to help the team win. Yeah. So they don't wanna take that away from him, but like at the right. same time, he, I'm sure it's in the back of his head, like his head as well. I don't think that Sam Haggerty or I don't think any of these guys are gonna get enough of an opportunity to steal as much as Julio. Like that's fair. I, Haggerty will be a pinch runner a lot. Demo, I mean, I don't know. Do you know how many stolen bases Dylan Moore had last year? 21, right? How many did Julio have? 25. Yeah. I mean, that's... And, that's and Dylan slept Moore... On. That's slept on. Dylan Moore played in 40 less games. Yeah. So, like, again, it's one of those things that you have the opportunity. My pick my pick would actually be Dylan Moore. I would go yeah. Dylan Moore here. Demo gets 30 bags. Julio, you know, if he is doing it of course he's gonna get over 30 but if they're gonna pr want him to not run i don't see him getting over 30. fangraphs has him at 28. it's close yeah colton wong at 19 and then demo at 17. so i i feel like demo is gonna play more this year although we haven't seen him in spring training yet so yeah, so i guess maybe temper that maybe my pick is actually a bad pick since demo hasn't played yet that's an interesting one i think i agree with the julio pick yeah. just because i think he'll get the most opportunity to steal but if they don't want him to get hurt, I think there's a decent chance that it is Dylan Moore in that category. And the final category that Julio is going to take home is OPS+. Plus. 
You guys voted for him for 72%. Teoscar Hernandez at 13, Big Dumper at 9, and Jared Kalanick at 6%. Again, I just kind of tossed Jared Kalanick in there since we're riding the high in the spring training, which has been super, super sick. Colton, you, again, you know, is Julio leading the team in this category? Overall, yeah. I, I think that this was another right choice. Julio won every category, correct? Yes, yes. Every single category? Yes. I'm not shocked. Yes. I think, like, Al's percentage is a bit low here. I You know, he had, like, a 125 or something close to that. I mean, his projection is only 108, so there's a bit of a regression trend there. But... I don't know, man. When Cal was hitting the ball, he was either hitting it for a double or for a home run. That's kind of where WRC Plus and OPS Plus come into play. And I mean, I would agree Julio's going to have more opportunity. He's probably going to hit more triples than Cal Raleigh because, you know, getting that big dumper movement's a bit tough. But again, I think it should be a bit closer. Ty France is second on fan graphs, which is, I feel like, surprising to be compared to like Tay Oscar. I mean, JP Crawford is projected higher than Cal Raleigh, which is bananas to me oh my god he is but i mean you know it is a conglomerate stat so it's a bit weird but again julio rodriguez you know he is that dude he is that guy and that's why he is going to be the face of the mlb coming up for the next decade and a half julio rodriguez he is the future for baseball make sure to check out that video on the screen right now thank you guys for watching this one and go mariners